Caswell. Today is Monday, August 19, 2024 at 9.45 a.m. Court will note the appearance of Ms. Reed on behalf of the uh, proposed intervening party. There's also a motion for custody in this matter. Uh, Ms. Reed, I guess before I could listen to you, I have no problem. There's no one here to oppose the intervention. The court would grant intervention in this matter. But as you are well aware, in these particular cases, pursuant to MCL 722.27b, the court has to make factual findings as it relates to, uh, again, those factors under the statute in this matter. So uh, what we'll do is the court will uh, set this matter for an evidentiary hearing to address, again, the factors under that statute, which would rebut the uh, fit parent presumption. Well, I, this is not a grandparenting time case, Your Honor. This is a custody case by a guardian. The guardians are grandparents, correct? No. Oh, okay. I, th I thought based upon the pleadings that that's what... The, the guardian is the deceased father's significant other, and she was just recently granted guardianship of the child. And mom has a significant drug history, and that's why her, her parenting rights are effectively suspended under the current order, because um, she... The deceased father was granted sole legal custody. Her parenting time was at the deceased father's discretion. She had to do at least six months of drug testing before she had any sort of parenting time. Okay. I'm sorry, Ms. Reed. I thought that I thought that this was for some reason I thought that the that the guardian was was a grandparent. So okay. Go ahead, Ms. Reed. You can uh You've given me some more information if there's anything else before we conclude. Um, it's just as written in our motion, the intervener and the deceased father had primary care and custody of the child for the last seven years, practically her entire life. Um, the defendant mother hasn't had any contact with the child in the last seven years. It's the best of our knowledge. She only recently started doing her mandatory drug testing about six months ago. And we did appear at the guardianship hearing, and it was represented to us by the defendant mother that she was on board with having parenting time at the discretion of the child's counselor because the child is going through some significant counseling at the moment because her father just passed. And she's having some additional stress because she's undergoing testing and monitoring due to the trying to see if she has the same medical condition that caused her father's passing. So she's a little stressed out about that as well. And it's gonna take some time to reestablish that relationship between the defendant mother and this child because this child has no idea who this mom is. She knows her name and that's about it. So we're requesting that the intervener be granted sole legal custody and parenting time to defendant mother at the recommendation of the child's counselor. And my client is not requesting child support. Okay. Just clarify what the intervener, what relation is the intervener to the child? She has no familiar relationship. She was the decedent's significant other who has lived with the child for the last seven years. Okay. Well, what the court will do in this matter is at least obviously the, the intervener is the uh, guardian of the child. And obviously based upon the facts, the child has been there for a substantial number of years without any involvement of the uh, defendant in this uh, particular case, the court will grant the temporary care to the intervener in this particular matter. And at some point, uh, we'll leave that in place. And I uh, guess at this point, Ms. Reed, I'll leave it up to you after a period of time. If we wish, we think you need to have a uh, uh, evidentiary hearing. I, I don't know what obviously is going to take place as it relates to any of the other proceedings that have uh, been involved in this matter. So uh, we'll put that in place now, and then you have a right to proceed either for entry of a um, of a full order at some later time, or we can modify it based upon whatever happens as it relates to parenting time. So for... Language of the order, she's having sole legal, temporary sole legal custody? Temporary, yes. Yep. 
in physical custody and for parenting times reserved? Yes. Okay. And then that way mother can come in and seek uh seek parenting time and we'll have a chance to review any uh conditions or anything that need to be done in that regard. All right. Okay. You can prepare that submit under seven day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.